Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, how are we all doing? I hope you're doing great. So guys, if I can be honest, it seems like the tide is changing slightly in terms to the support for the new Harry Potter TV show. Now, I mentioned in a previous video that support of the show was kind of split into three factors or three factions, maybe three camps, you could say. The first being those who supported the show. The second being those who were against the show purely for the purpose of the movie still being, you know, rather fresh. As in a reboot just wasn't needed. It's fine how it is, you know. And then camp three, the woke anti-JK Rowling section who are doing everything in their power to try and stop the show being made or boycott the show because they believe JK Rowling wants all trans people to be robbed of their human rights and to not be allowed to exist, which is completely not the case. So it's those three categories. Now, when all this really hit the fan and everyone seemed to be on Joe's back about her comments, the main Harry Potter cast spoke out in support of the trans community. Daniel Radcliffe spoke out and even mentioned Joe's name. Rupert Grin even came forward and Emma Watson was apparently so angry that she vowed never to work with the author again, in addition to being hurt over losing someone she considered not only a friend but a mentor. Now, a few more of the actors spoke out and one of them was Ivana Lynch, who played Luna Lovegood. Now, Ivana has apparently done a massive U-turn on her original comments she made back in 2020. So this is quite a surprising turn of events, guys, if I'm honest. Um, it's not something I ever thought I'd see happen, but let's just take a look at what Ivana originally said and then what she said afterwards. I think it's rather irresponsible to discuss such a delicate topic over Twitter through fragmented thoughts and I wish Joe wouldn't. So she's literally saying, Joe, you shouldn't even be bringing this into discussion, especially on Twitter, as a woman of Joe's power could heavily encourage the pendulum to swing in one direction. And that's understandable. She went on to say, I disagree that cis women are the most vulnerable people. I think she's on the wrong side of this debate. Okay, so that's Ivana's original comments. Now, in most people's eyes, that would definitely appear to be as if she's firmly against Rowling's argument, and that seemed to be the case for some time. In fact, Ivana actually had to delete her Twitter account due to the backlash she received by those defending JK Rowling. Now, I don't condone that whatsoever, guys, just like I don't condone the other side attacking those who wish to continue to support Harry Potter and are excited about the show and who wish to continue playing Hogwarts Legacy. So that's that, not much said until a couple of years later, more recently actually. Ivana gave a follow-up interview recently, and of course her previous tweets, of which are now deleted, okay, they're, they're gone. On the matter, she quickly addressed the question, you know, she didn't dodge anything guys, you know, she addressed it straight away, she didn't try, you know, beat around the bush, which a lot of actors do, so they don't get pulled into any sort of controversy, she just addressed the question, and I can respect her for that. She said, I was very naive when I was dragged into that conversation. I didn't even know there were two sides. I had a view of like good and bad. I do have compassion for both sides of the argument. I know what it was like to be a teenager who hated my body so much. I wanted to crawl out of my skin. So I have great compassion for trans people. And I don't want to add to their pain. I just felt that her character has always been to advocate for those most vulnerable members of society. The problem is that there's a disagreement over who's most vulnerable. I do wish people would just give her more grace and listen to her. I had this impulse to go, let's all just stop talking about it. And I think I'm probably a bit braver now about having uncomfortable conversations. So a big quote there, guys. Um, and after having what seems to be a lot of time to think about the situation, Ivana, like the majority of us, now understand that there can be compassion for both sides. And that's how I feel myself. I understand the argument of both sides. There's valid points. Many points that make sense from both sides. The issue is that the main point of each side is a point that neither will budge on. And I think Ivana is fully entitled to her opinion and fully entitled to change her mind. Or if she's discovered a new understanding of things, she shouldn't be punished or scolded on any level for opening herself up to look at things from both sides instead of just picking one side and say, 
this is who I'm fighting for. Personally, I think she's absolutely brilliant and brave for having the courage to be like, you know what, this is what I thought originally, but this is what I think now. My opinion has changed over time, okay, and I'm in a more understanding position to look at things from maybe not an entirely different perspective, but an additional perspective. That is the key word there, an additional perspective. Ivana then goes on to highlight how much her relationship with JK Rowling truly meant to her and how she and Joe became pen pals before she ended up getting the role of Luna back in 2007. She says, I started writing to JK Rowling and she wrote back. That's incredible actually that she wrote back. Like I would say JK Rowling would receive thousands of letters. So I wonder how many people she actually wrote back to. But Ivana was one of them. Okay, so she wrote back, I was in and out of hospital and I would be getting these letters. Her books and her kindness really made me want to live again. Lynch then added, clarifying that Rowling had no part in her casting. Being in Harry Potter changed my life because it proved to me that I could do something, that I had something to offer the world. So I think it's pretty clear here guys that it was a pretty conflicting moment for Ivana to even openly criticise Rowling's words and that most likely was due to an overwhelming sense of loyalty to everything Rowling has done for her. So that is pretty understandable and I love just as she says you know earlier on in the video that she's found the courage to be able to speak about you know more controversial topics to be able to give her opinions on them um, without fear of backlash. Even if she does get backlash she's She's not afraid anymore to talk about how she really feels and I can commend, I really can commend that. So guys, I don't know if any of you have read this, but there was like rumours of a rift between the former Potter cast members on this controversial topic, you know, on, you know, biological sex versus gender, the whole lot. And yeah, it caused quite a couple of arguments between former cast members and Ivana actually addresses this. And um, she said that, you know, despite her and many other members of the original cast, Having difference of opinions is what she said. It has never caused a rift and believes that it shouldn't either and that any talk of such a rift is something that she strongly disagrees with. I think there's things we don't all agree with and don't understand, she said. I've talked to all the cast. They all have great respect for her, even if they don't agree with her beliefs. I really strongly disagree with the narrative that there's a rift. She has her beliefs and she's doing her thing. We all have strong beliefs and it's been a very difficult conversation. I want there to be healing and I don't want us to keep fighting. So I reject that narrative that there's been a cold shoulder. Ivana went on to say that Rowling wasn't disinvited back to the 20th anniversary special either. That there was no way that that would have been allowed and she was just super busy and even during filming the original movies the author was hardly there. I think that she's just busy writing books. I don't think that was about the conversations that have been had about the more controversial issues. I think she was busy and she was never on the sets very often anyway. She's still a big part of it. So guys, that's the story with Ivana Lynch and JK Rowling. Now I have to admit, she answered quite a lot and I do feel somewhat satisfied with her clearing several things up and I can respect her for it because so many actors just dodge or dismiss tough questions but she addressed them all so guys how do you feel about the situation let me know your opinions in the comment section below it's always great to be back on camera thanks for watching make sure to look out for the next video because it just might be a little bit better than this one i'll see you soon